Thank you for watching this episode of Drone News from Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. One of the big announcements so far in 2020 is one that hasn't received a lot of hype, and that is that DJI has once again started selling the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. You may know that this drone was discontinued in early 2019, which surprised and disappointed a lot of people. At that time, the Phantom 4 Pro was the most capable drone you could buy under $2,000. Well, it turns out that the issue wasn't with the drone itself, it was a shortage of parts for the drone that forced the shutdown. DJI appears to have that issue cleared up, and now the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 is up for sale once again. The Phantom 4 Pro features a 1-inch sensor that can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second with a 100 megabits per second bitrate and 20 megapixel photos. The lens features a variable aperture range of f2.8 to f11 with a mechanical shutter to eliminate rolling shutter. The camera shoots in a wide range of color profiles including D-Log. I just published a video that has sample clips of all the Phantom 4 Pro profiles compared to the Typhoon H and Typhoon H Plus color profiles. That video is linked in the upper right corner now if you want to see. The Phantom 4 Pro has 5-way obstacle avoidance and uses OcuSync, which allows for 1080p live streaming up to 8 kilometers and supports wireless connection to DJI goggles. It has a variety of intelligent flight modes and claims a flight time of up to 30 minutes. I know I've averaged well over 20 minutes per flight on mine. As I said, when it was discontinued, the Phantom 4 Pro was the best drone you could get other than the Inspire. In my opinion, as it re-enters the market in 2020, it's still the best drone you can get other than the Inspire. I'm going to do a review on the Phantom 4 Pro in 2020 soon, so I won't go into a lot of detail here, but if you're looking to get one of the most capable drones on the market right now, the Phantom 4 Pro still ranks at or near the top of the list. And it better be good too, because it's expensive. The base package starts at $1,729. If you want the version with the built-in monitor, that costs $21.99. Batteries are $200 each. Now, I don't know how much of all that is tariffs. If it's the same as the Mavic 2, that price could drop $300 or more if the tariffs ended. I know, it's still a lot. And the Phantom 4 is bigger and less convenient than the Mavics. And it's noisier than other drones. And it has DJI's awful no-fly zone crap. And it's white, which really frustrates me because they came out with a black Phantom 4 Pro for version 1. But right now, if I had to grab one drone for an all-important shoot, one that I knew I could rely on, it would be my Phantom 4 Pro. It's a rock. That's for now, at least. What about the new Evo 2? The Evo 2 could dethrone the Phantom 4 Pro when it comes out. And you can expect DJI to come out with something to rival the Evo 2 soon, so how will that compare to the Phantom 4 Pro? Things may change later this year, but in early 2020, I'm excited to see the Phantom 4 Pro back on the shelves. You can order the Phantom 4 Pro from the link in the description below and get it straight from DJI. You can see a link to more videos on screen now, including my product announcement for the Autel Evo. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button in the center of the screen and click the bell so you'll be notified when I publish again. Want to talk drones? Want to fly together? Join my Facebook group, the link is in the description below.